<laughs> Great to see you on this Monday, September the 15th. Yes, I'm back. Suzanne Leonard with you. And it is grand to be home after a vacation, although I must say it was warmer, sunnier in London, England yesterday when I left than it was in Toronto on arrival. And 17 and gray kind of looks like the UK weather I've just left behind. Now, kids are back in school or coming home from school right now. 17s and 16s and 14s, overcast skies compared to the sunshine we had this morning. Your latest weather, where are those showers? They are forecast. And they're in the vicinity of the GTA. The winds are light out of the south-southwest. Sustained at about 17K right now. Toronto downtown, a little lighter up towards Barry New Market. A little bit of a breeze ahead of this trough of low pressure, bringing showers. Any thunderstorms with it? You can just at the bottom of your screen see a little bit of that higher level of moisture, and that's where we're seeing some thunder and lightning south of the border today. Showers around London and Woodstock, Kitchener and Cambridge, Milton, Guelph, and it looks like around Brampton we're getting some rain. Uh, still to come for downtown for the most part. Showers through the evening. Overnight we clear out. Tomorrow, drier, brighter. But I gotta say, it's pretty darn cool here in our part of the country, and it's going to get even a little cooler. When I was doing my research before coming in this morning, I found out that Calgary had 25 to 45 centimeters of snow last week. Yeah, that was probably old news to you, right? Unless, of course, you've been out of the country as well recently. Well, they're sitting at 22 degrees, big recovery. Temperatures have been going up steadily through the weekend, yesterday in particular, today, and it'll be even warmer in the days to come. We're 17. Could be Yellowknife, it's five degrees there. Could be Southern BC, frankly, I'd like that. 23 and sunny in Whistler and Tofino at last check. Just having a look at that. It looks like Tofino's dropped a degree. Whistler's gone up or going up this afternoon. Those are forecast highs, so we've already surpassed our expectations in Tofino. Lots of cool Arctic air. I want you to look at the blue that's filtering down Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, northern areas of eastern Canada. New Brunswick's under a frost warning tonight, the city of Fredericton. Not for Toronto, although you'll see that our daytime highs are on the cool side. We still should be 20, and our morning lows are going to be just below 10 degrees coming up later this week. Coming up, I'll take a more in-depth look at your local forecast. I'll be telling you about some of the fun events coming up this weekend, and again, showers if you have haven't seen them yet, they're imminent. Great to see you here at the Weather Network, almost 4.15. And Suzanne Leonard with you on this Monday, September 15th, like that, halfway through the month. Believe me, uh, I don't know where the time's gone either. Satellite and radar, showers moving in, cold air as well. This is not the greatest kind of September, is it? Just come back from an extended trip seeing family overseas, and I was hoping to come back to a balmy month. We were all hoping for a balmy, extended summer continuation. Uh, there's some pop-up showers in the far north. That's an indication of some really cold air. We're still dealing with a high teen temperature air mass with cloud cover and scattered showers around the golden horseshoe right now close to five millimeters of rain not a lot we'll see that wind shift to more of a northwest orientation uh, for tomorrow temperatures skies going to be clearing somewhat we get a little colder later in the week temperatures have been up and down just a snapshot here the largest concert ever on Cape Breton Island this past weekend, Cape Fest. No, it's not the Celtic Music Festival. Slash was the headliner. Guns N' Roses, fame, of course. Great guitarist there. Uh, so they were rocking out on the island. Cape Breton, great spot to go to. A little balmier in the long-range forecast than we are. Our current temperatures, anywhere from 14 to 18 degrees. Thankfully, any lightning, which, of course, we all know, sadly, with recent uh, events, uh, University of Waterloo, uh, can be very dangerous. Lightning is south of the border today. Cool temperatures tonight. No frost in the forecast. New Brunswick has frost. We've got some below average temperatures for tomorrow. Unfortunately, it does get a little cooler, as I mentioned, by Thursday, but sunny as we go into the weekend, at least for now. What's next for an extended summer, right? We had a late start, brutal winter. Uh, the grass is green, but it's pouring rain. Nobody's sunbathing. It's cool. It's wet, showery, depending on where you are. Good to see you. Suzanne Leonard with you. Just after 4.30 local time, thick cloud deck across southern Ontario. Lots of sunshine this morning. Low pressure's moved in. Uh, behind this trough of low pressure, behind the low, scattered cloud cover in northern Ontario. And that's what's going to head to us for tomorrow. So it will get a lot brighter. But right now, it is gray, fairly low cloud ceilings. It's cool. It's wet not the nicest evening. It's a good evening to uh, scurry home, frankly. Something warming for dinner would be, it, it's, you know, it's around this time of weather 
and it's around this time of year that we start to reach for uh, comfort foods. I know, it's not really a barbecue night, that's for sure. 14 to 17 degrees. The winds are fairly light out of the southwest. southwest. The trough of low pressure comes through tonight. And as it does so, it won't be a night for stargazing or looking out for the northern lights, as I know some of you have been doing recently. Cloud cover will be clearing overnight, so we'll wake up to a fairly bright day tomorrow. Fair and cool conditions. How quickly will the cloud cover leave us? Well, by tomorrow morning, yeah, it's looking bright. There's another cold front in northern Ontario. Cold air, cool for us. We should be 20 degrees at this time of year. Hamilton stays in the teens. So does Barry. Barry, 12 degrees on Thursday. And we're well below average with 14 forecast for Toronto and Oshawa. So brighter but cooler later in the week. Going into the weekend, Friday, looking at 16, 17, 18 degrees, up to normal, feeling a little warmer when you factor in the humidity. That's a low pressure system still forming to the northwest, but it brings us an increased chance of showers as we look ahead to the weekend. Now, it's turned fairly quiet in Atlantic Canada as far as hurricanes are concerned, but what I want to show you right here, the peninsula. Coming up, a more in-depth look at your current conditions, where the weather is hot, where the jet stream is up, and when this cooler air is going to filter into Toronto, if you're just joining us. Fine for tomorrow and increase the amount of cloud cover. It looks like it is going to be a little more unstable than uh, we had originally thought. Good to see you as we gear up for a hilarious weekend. It's a big comedy festival uh, kicking off on Wednesday in Barrie, running through the weekend, and just for laughs starts in Toronto. Yeah, already this Thursday, and that runs through two weekends. So that's a, more of a 10-day festival. TIFF is finished. Hope you managed to catch a few films. It's more of an indoor night tonight, frankly, for watching a film than for being out kicking around a soccer ball. Chris May, my colleague here on air, may disagree with me. Some showers. Uh, not seeing any lightning. I'll, I'll double check for you again in just a moment. Lightning, of course, safest place to be indoors, away from, uh, you know, tall objects and you are sometimes the tallest object around. Uh, showers and thunder showers mainly south of the border. This is nothing really serious. A good five millimeters, maybe 10 or so, a drenching, uh, a light drenching here and there. But really it's just bursts of rain and overnight it gets showery, gets a little weaker. Tomorrow sunshine may prove to be a little bit on the optimistic side. Uh, here's a look at the forecast for temperatures. That's what I want to draw your attention to. 14 on Thursday, a morning low of just Eight. There's frost tonight in New Brunswick. We've got at least not that cold air, but uh, it has turned really warm in western Canada after big snow in Alberta last week and quite cool in eastern Canada. And as we take a look at the cloud tops, you can see the way that the clouds drift up towards Alaska and the Yukon, down across the northeastern prairies. This is all sunshine. The jet stream is taking the cloud cover to the north and then we get into more of a, a curve here that's a trough in the jet stream that's our system coming through it'll push on out towards the east coming up also coming up I want to talk to you about forest great to see you on this monday suzanne leonard with the team back from a little extended vacation overseas to see family in england and italy and when i touched down in toronto on sunday i thought 16 and overcast are you kidding me it was 20 and sunny when i had left london england Better weather in the UK than here. Hmm. Right. Well, we don't always get the weather we want or we expect. Below seasonal with showers right now and clearing slowly through the evening. Lingering cloud cover and the chance of a shower Tuesday, but some sunshine as well. Not a great deal of precipitation, about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain still to come. And then a cooler trend. Fair and cool with some scattered showers. Tuesday, near seasonal Wednesday, slightly warmer down on Thursday, slightly warmer Friday. Mm, we should be still 20 degrees at this time of year. Watching out for showers approaching us on the weekend. The winds out of the south for now, at least. Long range, locals next. This Speaking of flying, my uh, director, John DeGaris, thought this would be kind of fun to do because I just flew in from London, England yesterday. I uh, had a wonderful extended family holiday. Uh, London and Cambridge. On the left, on the right, which one's the UK, which one's Canada? Well, if you've been watching the program today, you know I've been complaining loudly about how I left better weather in the UK than I returned to here in Toronto. Always great to come home, but that is London, England and Cambridge, England, compared to these cooler, more showery conditions in London and Cambridge, Ontario. Thank you, John. <laughs> 
for that. I hope you enjoyed that little game. Weather can be, you know, it can be a great game to be in. It can be a terrible racket as well. With the showers coming through, with the cold air that we're talking about, it will be drier tomorrow. Look at this cold air, northern Canada, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It does come into Ontario and Quebec. Luckily, it stays mostly outside of the GTA. But whereas we should be 20 degrees, we're not going to be. We're going to be about 14 on Thursday for daytime high. Morning lows and then a little more humid for the weekend. Pink sun's speeding up the fall color change in some areas. And uh, much warmer weather has built into western Canada. Temperatures hitting the 20s today in BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, but not here in Ontario. Could be worse, right? Calgary had big snow last week. We've got just a few showers this evening as a trough of low pressure swings through. Cloud cover starts to break up overnight. Yeah, it's good to see you too. It's Monday, and it's uh, it was a sunny start to a Monday. It was a beautiful morning this morning. I was up early with jet lag, having just flown in from the UK yesterday. We'll have some sunshine tomorrow, perhaps to wake up to, but some lingering cloud cover, showers, and temperatures that are on average close to five degrees below normal close to five. Uh, long range forecast, liking the fact that we've got some humidity returning, feeling like 26 on Saturday. St. Catharines feeling closer to 27. There's a Niagara Wine Festival about to get underway quite soon. My director John and I were looking at the weekend and thinking, yeah, 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 20s, 20s, Humidex in the mid 20s. Let's hope so. The Long Rangers coming up in just a second. Thanks, Chris Murphy there. You know, I just came back from the UK myself yesterday. Um, no travel delays, but I came back to a pretty chilly country. Frost tonight in New Brunswick. Wind chills. Look at this. Yellowknife will feel like minus three tomorrow morning. And it's a sunny start for Timmins, but it will feel about plus one. We're going to be around 10, feeling close to 10 degrees. What's this wind chill business all about? Well, Dana tells us. Wind well, there's a whole lot of information there as we bring you back up to date. Yes, winter wind chills, but sometimes fall as well. We'll have more with your local forecast about what you can expect to fill in the details on this up and then downtrend in temperatures this week. A trip around the world with Kim and now a little look at the Southern Ontario forecast. Suzanne Leonard with you. Great to see you again. I've been not exactly around the world, but away for a few weeks. Coming back to these showery conditions, uh, you know, heavier bursts at times, but generally fairly light as we go into tomorrow, slightly cooler temperatures, but at least not a real stormy forecast where we've had some very stormy weather local time Sunday night, uh, making its way slowly over land, losing its uh, tropical structure that's what this symbol represents and then heading up towards arizona with some heavy rain coming later this week coming later this week for us friday well there's all kinds of stuff going on event wise weather wise it looks like we're going to warm up on the weekend but we may have a weather event showers coming later in the weekend just for laughs is getting underway and the niagara wine festival is on it's continuing also coming up we'll take a look at the top five states most vulnerable to wildfires for your